first thing I want to talk about is some No Jumper news because I haven't spoken about this in a while. So I'm not too sure if you're aware, but No Jumper has been going through a little bit of a crazy time because as of late, um, House Phone has decided to now become Pally Pally with Adam 22 again, which is quite weird when you consider that I would say maybe the point where No Jumper kind of was starting to fall off a little bit or when everyone started to leave was when everybody has to see how Adam 22 treated House Phone because Adam 22 and House Phone have been good friends for a long time or maybe they started off as colleagues but then they grew into a friendship because he's been there from the I'd say literal beginning of the No Jumper media empire sort of blowing up into what it was and the uh, in the, you know the old kind of No Jumper show with her, with her with him and flipping um um, what's your friend cam girl and adam 22 good little lineup and robes and all those kind of guys back in the day anyway long story less long um things had to go a bit awry and essentially um adam 22 was involved in a bit of a shit situation where he invited on a transgender person to come on a show and that person ended up exposing house phone but not really like it was i would even say it was a transgender person's fault it was more so adam 22's fault because if i'm not mistaken the show was pre-recorded so they could have edited out that section where that transgender person basically said, yeah, me and House Phone did something. I think, I don't know, he's got his dick sucked or something like that. And he could have easily edited out that section, but he didn't. He chose to leave it in. So essentially, he exposed his friend before he wanted to basically let it be known to the world. Cool, he did that. Absolutely horrible. Then when it came to the point of like apologizing or owning to the mistake, he never owned up to it. He pushed all the blame to the editors and he didn't want to take any ownership or accountability and that made him look even worse and then when it came to having um a little sit down with house phone on the podcast it quickly turned into adam 22 being the worst version of himself which is incredibly self-absorbed incredibly obnoxious um incredibly just annoying to talk to because he doesn't you know accept responsibility and maybe just being a, a complete dickhead and that kind of i felt like was one of the dominoes that kind of led to the eventual downfall of no jump with everybody else leaving like ad and tyrell and the whole beef with fucking what's his name with that fucking gremlin looking guy um what's his fucking name i don't know whatever that that weird looking guy that's like 40 um but he looks like he's 60 but anyway everybody left so he left and then everybody you know everyone kind of left and it kind of made sense but house phone now is suddenly run back to massa right he's run back to massa House phone has run back to Massa and he decided to take part in some, what's it called? Um, oh, what are they called again? Uh, I forgot the fucking name of No Jumper. I think on some shit. I guess that's maybe the, you know, the overarching company or something with BMXs and No Jump, um, House phone decided to go and do a, an on some shit DJ set. And he was promoted on the flyer and shit. And then of course, Adam 22 got the much needed picture to kind of prove the doubters on, on Reddit wrong that he was friends still with fucking Adam with fucking house phone and the entirety of the Reddit and the no jumper community went crazy because essentially everybody kind of rode for house phone and kind of left the, the, the platform mainly because of how worried they were that if Adam 22 would treat house phone the way he did, what, what about them? And it kind of got proven right. So cool. He did that. Right. So it's kind of making house phone look a bit weird. Like, why would you go there when this guy basically outed you? And then essentially when he sat in front of you, he kind of insulted your mom um, who died RIP to buy my house phone and just basically refused to take any accountability on this. And the other thing that makes this story even more wild is that before, you know, Adam 22 got into his little cuck era, I, we found out through, I, I, how do we ever find out? I don't even know how we even found out, but somehow it got out that house phone actually fucked Leonard the plug before Adam 22 and house and Leonard the plug kind of got together. It must have been very close. I think the dates, cause I think they all met each other at the same time. But the house fan actually managed to fuck and Leonard the plug before she got together with Adam Twenty Two. So that's kind of a weird thing that they kind of always have kept on the on, on the wraps, and it kind of made Adam Twenty Two look horrible because house fan has never spoke about this. It just kind of got out as a rumor, but he never once exposed the fact that he fucked and landed the plug. So the fact that Adam 22 would expose his quote unquote sexuality and then go on to not take accountability for it or say sorry right off the bat kind of made him look horrible. Anyway, we all know Adam 22 is a horrible person. The thing that makes it really strange is House Phone running back to him and deciding to kind of go and do the DJ set. So I'm really curious to see what House Phone has to say about himself. Like what does House Phone have to say for himself? in terms of why he decided to do that set because if anything he made himself he made himself look horrible my feeling for it my internal feeling my gut feeling 
because I've been a bit of a party boy myself and I've done some questionable things for money. And I know what it is to sometimes get that itch where you kind of just want to get some money to go and pick up. So my honest feeling, my honest kind of hand to heart feeling is that most likely than not, house phone is a drug addict. But like a very high functioning one in the same way that Burt Kreischer is where you couldn't tell because house phone wears all the cool clothes. He's got the cool beard, he's got the tattoos and the trainers and shit. But if you look a bit deeper, he can't really walk. He looks a little bit, you know, sickly in the face sometimes. He's always got that bloated look on his face, bloody blah. But my kind of guess straight away would be that house phone is most likely a drug addict. I don't know what drug it is. It could be a whole number of drugs, but that'll be my initial kind of reaction to why he decided to go and run back to Massa being Adam 22 and get that bag. So let's hear what house phone has to say about why he decided to do the whole show again, because I'm curious to hear his explanation for it. Uninterrupted real quick for like two seconds. Go for it. Your mon- right, your monologue. Right, it's your monologue. And this is a recent episode of Biggest Bros, by the way. This is a podcast that House One does with Toke, Blasey, and Yuri. They did one already. They did one before on No Jumper, but obviously since they all left, they set up a new show. Before No Jumper, it was called uh, Disconnected. Uh, now it's called Biggest Bros. Um, so let's play this. Is it called Biggest Bros or it's called Reconnected? No, it's called Reconnected, sorry. It was called Disconnected on the Jumper and now it's called um, Reconnected. So let's play it. All right, look. So, boom. The other day, uh, randomly, now... Wait, I wouldn't interrupt you. No, go ahead. No, no, no. I mean, no, 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 I was, I was going to let you, I was gonna let you <laughs> kick it off, but... Yo, that's funny. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, look. So, the other day, I... Sorry. I'm fucking around. I'll be the last joke. Let me hit that. Let me last joke of the night. I got you. Oh, I didn't know you. I didn't know. I got one for you, Pops. All right, say less. Wait, should we take a five-minute break? Are you good? Go, go for it. <laughs> All right. So, the other day, I got hit up to do some shit for on some shit like they're like the the BMX video or whatever, right? Now, I didn't really think it was gonna be World War Two or it was like gonna turn into some like big ass thing, but I did it. I'm not gonna hold you. I kind of needed the bread, and the bread was cool for me to just roll out of my bed to go. T- you see that? You see that? Did you hear that? I kind of just needed the bread. I love how he tried to dismiss everybody's outrage or shock that he went to go, he went back and to work with Adam 22. As if, I love when people do that. These, these prominent people in media or in culture or in content creation, I love how when they do something questionable, right, or do something that's quite surprising or that goes against everything that they kind of said or intimated or didn't say or hinted at, they get surprised and shocked when the fans give a fuck. Don't you find that odd? Like, don't you find that it, it's, it's almost kind of insulting you know you made a big deal out of it you were crying everywhere about adam 22 about how horrible he was you all decided to move and do your own thing and to to their credit anyway to these guys credit they're not like you know they're not like back on fig they're not like ace boys or they're not like community they're not always talking about adam and no jumper for views and clicks they're not always doing that so i'll give them credit for that they do go out of their way not to mention all the drama that goes on within the no jumper universe but don't insult our intelligence right don't insult our intelligence. Please do not insult our intelligence. Like, we know what happened. Fucking do some, like, do, like, uh, to go to the event or whatever, basically. Now, I'm not a DJ. I think that you guys all know that. And, but I've been hit up to DJ shit all of the time. And I just either will have to co-DJ it. But, like, clearly that wasn't an option this time. <laughs> so, I, I was, like, straight up, if I can't find somebody to co to co DJ with me or whatever, I literally pull up and just play music off off my fucking ox. The funny thing about this is that Toke, this guy here, has had a bit of you know has had some tete a tetes with Adam Twenty Two. They've called each other names. Adam Twenty Two has basically intimated that ah oh, he was never needed at No Jumper. He basically worked for free. Just insults after insults, right? But nothing I think too serious. If anybody would if anybody in that table probably had more reason to go and dj for adam 22 and kind of let bygones be bygones for the bag maybe toke would make more more make more sense because his and adam's thing is just like an ego thing men thing it's not really that serious house phone got exposed by fucking adam 22 essentially adam 22 knowingly and willingly essentially put all his business out there about what he did with allegedly with that transgender woman and he's okay with that completely and it you know maybe led to the breaking up or one of many breakups with him and Illa that girl from fucking um Ace Girls or something Ace Girl Cheeks it led to him you know him and his girlfriend at the time breaking up for a bit it kind of damaged maybe his rep on the streets whatever it did right it did a lot of I'd imagine turmoil too, especially during a time when his mother was passing away or he was dealing with the loss of his mother and shit so it's actually funny that he'd make that kind of joke because Toke has more reason to DJ for Adam and let you know be, let it be water under the bridge than house fund does but anyway we go on off my phone mm-hmm. they said it was cool 
and I ended up just having the homie Kobe uh, co DJ with me. Shout out Kobe. You know, broke broke Kobe off some bread. I kept some bread, and then yeah, that was pretty much it. But um, I'm not gonna lie, it did feel like a little like it felt like did you just invite me here to take this picture to make it seem like like we're just all chill like that and you feel like you're used as like well duh and you went because you needed the money so adam 22 once again is proving that although he's not the smartest guy in the book he's definitely a lot smarter than some of these fucking dumb dunder duns right do you know what i mean He's not super sharp, but he, at least he's sharper than some of these guys. For some reason, Hasbun couldn't read that this was obviously a play from Adam to get him to the show so that he could take that fucking dumbass picture so that he could look like, you know, he got the one up on everybody. He's been able to come on here, you know, talking mad smack to the Ace Boys, talking shit about AD, saying shit about Pun, saying this, saying that online, you know, trying to ride the fucking cuck wave and do content on that thing. He's been really trying to let his nuts hang. And the ultimate kind of chess piece move at the end was to get House Fun to agree to go and do a show with him. And, besides, you know, regardless of what he said, he knows, look, I know that you guys are ruled by money. And if I offer you enough money, you're going to put all the principles, all the morals that you speak of to one side. And of course, with Hasfone being a drug addict, that money was definitely needed. So that's what basically happened. So I'm surprised that fucking Hasfone surprised that that's what's happened. Like a pawn yeah, it. almost like in a weird way. And then like, I don't that know. That was the question is, uh, I feel like for a lot of people is... Uh, well, let me, let me just finish. Let me finish. Do so, your thing, do your thing. So then like, <laughs> I don't know, other people I was talking to... When when when, when um, Yuri pops in there and says that's what other people have been actually saying and tries to offer the you know, housewives are having it. No no no, don't talk. I don't want to hear how I how I how bad I look out here. You know. <laughs> it was like oh yeah like like we can't wait to like do other stuff with you and yeah, blah blah. blah. And I was just like whoa 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 like I don't I didn't really I didn't really like foresee this into being that deep. Like I just thought it was like you know a one thing. It was a one thing and but. I mean, everybody turned it into like, oh my God, he's going back and all this other shit like that. And I'm just like, I don't think that it was that big of a deal. And I don't know, maybe I should have thought about that a little more before I did uh -huh. it. But to be honest, like I needed the bread and it was, it was really nothing for me to pull up. Like I've been cool with all those BMX niggas for mad long, like just as long as I've known Adam and all that shit. And I, I don't have no problems with Began. I don't got no problems with fucking Stevie. I don't got no problems with Connor. I don't got no problems with Nate Richter. I don't got no problems with Phil. I fuck with all of them and like they asked me to do it and I did it. Like I didn't I didn't really overthink. Basically, you needed the money. Essentially, he needed the money and Adam 22 offered a, a position, a, a platform for him to go and make some money, an opportunity to make some money, sorry. And he went and took it. But again, it's just the context around it that's kind of upsetting and troubling and also a bit surprising just considering you know the levels at which he kind of got treated by adam and the disrespect that he kind of got you know su subjected to both in terms of leaving that little clip in with the transgender person saying that they fucked around with house on back in the day the lack of accountability and personal you know and for you know and asking for forgiveness and trying to make shit right adam 22 side the interview that they had on the on one of the shows i've got which one when house phone tried to threaten you know tried to act like he was going to throw something at him but didn't really wasn't really on it because he literally can't stand on his legs <laughs> so it wasn't really going to be a fair fight if they did actually end up swinging and he's all bark and no real bite. That's the major disappointing part of it. Like, if you look at it from the personal point of view, fair. Do what you got to do to make the money. But surely, if you're the kind of person who's, you know, going to be swayed by money at all points to kind of put aside your pride, your principles, your morals, your feelings even, just for money, then you know for sure, mostly, you're going to do quite a bit of shit for money as well. The door's going to be open for many other things which probably explains the whole like transgender thing in the first place <laughs> you know what i mean you put enough money in front of this guy and he will do literally anything especially if there's a fucking line a bump a fucking key a pill or some fucking lean available he's gonna do it it's kind of disturbing to be honest think it too much and that's all i want you to weren't say trying for. to like cause like all oh, like no you but i also outside, i ain't fucking yeah i also didn't i also like wasn't trying to make it seem like oh like i'm just extending the olive branch i mean like i felt like the olive branch was extended and like i don't branch. know i don't know i just I, I hate when people try to tell me how to feel about anything so i'm just like yeah why do i give a like you know i feel like one of the questions for sure is like uh like the photo is like you know you're saying well, adam, not, adam asked to take that photo? oh bro i'm not gonna hold you look so i'm I, I, i'm oh, gonna just hear it, it i'm gonna keep it 1000 <laughs> so i'm standing there on the stage 
Lena comes up to the stage. She's like, help me up on stage. Mm -hmm. I pull her up. She's like, Adam wants us to take a pic. Adam comes over. They snap a pic, and then that was it. It took like five seconds. Like, but it was with, with, within the five seconds of me seeing them, that's how that happened. It was by Adam's request. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> they all like, like also one of the like filmers came up and asked me, did I want to do a drop for the vlog? And I was like, nah. Yeah. And like, it just felt like kind of like, hey, like too you know? too forward. And too I was just like. Bro, a little overwhelming. Like, yeah, I just came to just. DJ I literally the just came to DMX video. I literally just came to watch Began fucking grind on some rails. Yeah. Pause. Some people. You know, <laughs> yeah. What? What? Yo. You know, just just like uh, speaking for like the people in the yeah. comments section over here. Uh, yeah. I'm not I'm making these allegations myself, but some people probably even say like Adams probably had that requested that photo because you know a lot of employees have left no jumper a lot of employees yeah. are like saying they were not the happiest there and his relationship with his past employees a lot of them aren't the great that but great gotta, so if he has the photo of you where it seems like you guys are all cool now like pe people are gonna think like oh maybe the other people are tripping but i'm like, just like know, whatever yeah. it, is. it just always throws me off in situations like that because like i don't be pre-thinking that like shit is gonna you don't be worrying up. about other people's thoughts i'm not worried about nothing besides I'm, for sure, I'm gonna pull up and do this shit, and I'm gonna go home. That's exactly what I did. And that's that's a lot of people are trying to, and that's basically the main problem.